Look at that. Oh, When was the last time you've been fishing, sir? Oh, maybe six, seven months ago. I forgot to mention to you, my family's from Melbourne. Now, they have been in lockdown for over seven months. How long was lockdown going for? So this is the second time that Saka, my old man, has actually been fishing for snapper. This year, and I know all you Melburnians, Melbourne, Melburnians, Melburnians are in the same, we're in the same boat. Now lockdown's over, we're going fishing, bro. We've launched from Clifton Springs and we're gonna, we're gonna drive down to Port Arlington. While we're trying to mark out some snapper, I always throw a lure in the water. I chore for snapper because you never know what's down there and what can smash this lure. Sometimes I don't want to take bait. Sometimes I don't want to take soft plastics so that I might smash we this lure. We couldn't really get solid marks on the sounder, but we tried this spot out. We're getting a lot of undersized pinkies, which isn't the best sign, but it's not the worst sign because amongst pinkies, generally a big snapper. At this stage, we're waiting for the tide to turn around, so I decided to throw a squid jig in. We're fishing at Grassy Point, and I know there's a lot of squid that's been caught at Grassy Point, so who doesn't want a good feed of squid? He's got to come off over there. Nah. Look, Willie. Really? Let him go. Keep him for bait. Keep him for bait. I'll be honest with you. I don't like using little squid, putting them on bait, because I just feel sorry for them and bad. But we can't have that mentality when we go fishing. This leads to a six, seven kilo snapper. Generally squid live up to 12 to 18 months long. Reproduced really quickly and there's a lot of them out there. If you catch any of these squid, use them for bait for snapper. This is the reason why. Baits we're gonna be using this morning is freshly caught squid from yesterday. I actually caught these squid off the beach so I got two beautiful squid in the afternoon yesterday. And this morning we've chopped them up for some beautiful snapper baits. Yes. So with these circle hooks we're going to be using now, the bait presentation is extremely simple. Just thread it through the top, hanging, and that's all it is right there. And you'll nail a lot of fish just using that simple method. Get that out there. And on this rod we'll throw out the infamous squid gut bait. So that's all the squid gut is right there. It's a dynamite bait. The best thing about the squid gut is that when it's out there, it actually creates its own burly trail. Oh, we're on. We're on. We're on to a snapper. Good morning, everyone. Fresh squid has been the hot bait. Pretty solid snapper as well. So we've switched over to circle hooks. So I'm just praying that this fish is hooked in the corner of the mouth. Go around. No, no way. All right, I think we're off that line. Oh, this is a beast. Oh, this one's a beast. Come on, be hooked in the corner of the drawer. Oh, look at this fish. What a session we've had. Oh, it's only just on. Barely, 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 barely lip hooked. Perfect for release. It's a male, it's a big male knobber. Come on. Oh no. Oh. Yes. Yes. 87 centimeters of beautiful Western Port Red. Oh. oh, this fish is going to get... Look at that! Look at that! The key when you're fishing for snapper, you want to keep moving every 10 to 15 minutes. So we sanded around again, we found some good mass, so we tried 10 minutes snapper? in his spot. Hey. He's cleaned you up. Yeah. Maybe he cleaned me up, too. Right now. Where is it? Yeah, a nice one? Nah. I can't get over those holes. That is fucking funny. I'll give you a little bit of a background story about these holes. Suck was in lockdown for about seven months, as you know. Suck was, was mucking around with the boat and he put new perspex on the front of the live bait tank. But what he didn't realize is, is he's, this perspex on the live bait tank, little small holes in them. This is actually why it's good to go out regularly in your boat, because when you go out regularly in your boat, you actually find what's not working and what needs to be fixed. So we filled up the live bait tank, we put that squid in there, and then this happened. Fucking, they've been there for years. How come the fucking now you did it last week. It'll be last you week, you know, one of your fucking time. Well, let's have a look at these holes. Let's check them. What happened? To wash your hands, yeah? Oh, you're fucking bitch. Suck, show me that cork quickly. Where's that cork? How old is this cork? This? Yeah. Uh, 50 to 60 years. You don't find them anymore. They're getting bigger now. Damn it. Sounds yeah, like if it's about 20. Yeah, you catch them next year. 
15 minutes later, we're still getting small pinkies, so we try to move off the pinkies and try to sound up some nice size snapper. Sounded around for about five minutes. We've seen some good marks, so we put the anchor down, and this happened. We just lost the monster. Then, oh, they've just got a hit. Sucks handline looks like it's red hot. Oh, that, 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 right, here we go. Yeah, it's a nice one. Hey? Eh? This is side. Can't you see how good? Oh, yeah. This is a proper fish. Duck, throw your hand line on this side. Where? This side here. There is there, Carl. Faha! <laughs> Show me, I wanna get you. Jake, that rod, that rod. Poor got this on a soft plastic, beautiful pumpkin colour. Crunched it. Crunched it. <laughs> nice one. Oh, let him go. Let him go. Slowly, but. Let's get a photo, Luke. Let him go. She's bad, but we love shit stirring suck. Every time we make out look good, we're going to release a fish. Even if you lose a fish on the boat, don't talk for an hour. Suck wants him in the boat. He wants to take him home because Suck eats them. He loves to eat them, right? He doesn't just catch them just to catch them. He eats them. If you could eat fish 24-7, I think he would eat fish 24-7. If you lose a fish on our boat, don't talk. If he loses a fish on the boat, don't talk. Is not the, the vibe in the boat is just like Get it in the boat! Don't lose the fish on our boat. <laughs> oh, <there's nothing> <laughs> you use the soft plastic because we're on again. I'm gonna stand here, Dave, raise that net. On that soft plastic again, see we've got baits out, we've got pilchards out. And we've been smashing them on the soft plastic. So as big as the last one, it's on the gulf. It's called pumpkin. Nothing on baits, huh? I might go for a pink one this time. Waiting for this one to take off. So the fish have just come off the bite, so we're standing around now. They gave us about 15 minutes, two fish. Yeah, the other top dishes in it. <laughs> you see colour? What's well, a good one, eh? That's a fucking pinky, isn't it? What is it? Nice one. <laughs> Let it go, you fucking... Yeah, you that one will... already. Only two on the sounder, so there's one more here somewhere. Yeah. Every week, you guys know this, I pick one random person out that sends me a photo of their catch, and I've got this young legend here, Cade Thornhill. He's got this massive squid off a of pier. I'm not sure which pier it is, so Cade, can you please put that in the comment section, bro, if you're watching this, where you got that squid. And also, we've got this mixed bag here that he's caught also some whiting, some flathead, leather jackets as well. That's amazing. And you see you got this on top of uh, Western Port on top of the spit. Thank you for sending me these photos. It means a lot to me, mate. Now, everybody, if you're watching this, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. It will mean a lot. And I'm gonna wait here until you do that. And you know what? I might actually shout some other person out in this video. I don't know where I'm gonna do it, but I'm gonna fit it in because I've got so many requests and I'm gonna try, obviously, squeeze it all in. So stay tuned. And please make sure you subscribe. Did you subscribe? Oh, man. Thank you, man. Everybody's there. Fuck all right. Wait a second. Oh. You should buy a fucking soft plastic, plastic like that. Fuck the fresh bait. I took a plastic. How big is it? It's 32, 31, isn't it? Good for the pan. <laughs> hey, that sucks, fish that he lost. There you go, you can have it for dinner tonight. Nah, it was bigger than that. Is that soft? See you now. Huh? It is. Put the camera in the hole. Right. Go, go. Oh, just spat something out. Fuck's on. Oh, fuck. Dave, hold that. Easy, shark. <laughs> Where is it? Can you see colour? Can you see colour? Tell me. If it gets out, you fucking never hear the end of it. Is it a nice one or not? Is it a lie? Shit. <laughs> of course it is. That sucks. Tell me when you see colour. Colour, under color, the boat. Colour, colour. Where? Yeah. Sorry guys, we're going to have tilted over. Fucking all the one side, you're going to fucking put me in a drink. Look at this, we've been hit all right. Hey? It's on the roof, Luke. Hey, yeah, take it off. Take it off because maybe his brother or sister... Do you want a photo? Fucking shit! Doctor. Oh, you lost it? Yeah, you didn't no, hook it. No, no, no. No, you didn't hook it. Yep. You're cursing it all the time. Fucking since we sat on the boat. Fuck you, no wonder it goes. Okay. Sucks on again, watch out, Dave. <laughs> 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 
Give me some line stuff. I just had a ripper hit too. Uh, so wait a sec, let me take this off. Take it, quick, 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 quick. I hit it now. Hit it. Oh, this is a good fish. Look, get your right. Run. Run. Oh, yeah. There he is, there. Color. What do you want? Oh, nice size. Nice one. Another one. On the plastic. Filtered color. Berkeley. Nice. Berkeley slick bait. Oh, oh. Hey, good <laughs> fish. No, no, you take it. I'm going to get my rod in. Move, move. There. Dave's on again. This net. Come on, there'd be a fucking half a dozen fish under the thunder. Good. Stop kicking, you know. Yeah. What we found on, on the anchor, look. That whole video that you've just watched, what's one thing that you noticed in that trip? I didn't even catch a fish. I didn't get a hit. I didn't get a run. I got nothing. So that day I literally went home and I went fishing again. I'm just about to go for a fish and have a look what our cat caught. Putty, what do you got? He's caught a rabbit. That's an outdoor cat. That cat never comes inside, okay? Cats eat rabbits? No. I don't even know that cats ate rabbits. 10.30 and we're going fishing. Sorry, Rock. But you're not allowed to come. So I'm going to show you guys what the tide is doing right now while we're waiting. Look at that. That's where the tide is right now. It's perfect. We're going to fish off the beach. Yui hasn't eaten dinner. I haven't eaten dinner. So hopefully we catch something. We've got the barbecue. We've got heat beads. We've got everything in the car. We've got the SOS light. <laughs> that's all that's left. I got this footage from a mate of mine, Deacon. He went out with the boys in Mornington and they got onto the snapper. They got their bag. This was in the afternoon. So they were just having some fun catching fish and releasing it. As you can see, as soon as they released that, they got another hit on that rod. So he's bringing another rod. Thank you for the footage, guys. It really means a lot. Now, guys, if you haven't sent your footage, you can send me some videos and I'll give you a shout out. And please subscribe. Oh, man. We're going to pick our spot too, yeah? It's a bit... I don't know if you guys can see... We're out, Jimmy! I am finally get to use my hat. There's that many bugs and flies around, but we've got the setup. What I'm going to be using, come check this out. We've got the old circle hooks. One, two, three, four, eight. Oh, I'm just going to put that in there. These are going to pull it like that. Perfect. So we're just going to use pilchards. Get some out. Take this bucket with me. This knife. I'm only going to take a couple of hooks with me, just in case, in case I get snagged because it's truly roofy here. Put them in there. We're fishing out of Port Arlington today. Yeah, we're going to make our way out now. Look at all the bugs, man. Man, it's so quiet out here. I've never really weird waders before, and it's really like sucking on my legs. It's been about 10 minutes, I'm still walking. I haven't even thrown the bait out yet. Just trying to get to a good spot, and I reckon after I hit this reef here, this is where I'm gonna do it. Full of muscles, all that. Everywhere. I didn't bring any food. I haven't had dinner yet, so hopefully I catch a snapper or a pinky and Yui and I can cook it up. First cast. Nothing. Around this stage of the night, it was around 3.30 in the morning and I actually got busted off and I reckon it was about a five or six kilo snapper. It was running, it was giving me head shakes and it busted me off on a reef. I actually forgot to turn my GoPro on for the first time ever. But as I was walking back to change spots, I, I stumbled on something very strange, but very exciting. You guys have to check this out. I don't know, I'm gonna try another spot. I'm gonna move over about a hundred mil. And then I'm gonna go. What the hell's that? What the hell? Looks like an egg. It's full of water. Something plastic. There's something inside this. Try to break it on something. 
I have no idea what this is, but I'm just going to quickly try to break it open. I need a rock or something. Starting to crack open. What the hell? What? What the? Oh, that has to be fake. That has to be fake. That has to be fake. Yui! What the hell is that? Is that like a pony? <laughs> what the hell? Found it washed up on the beach. I don't know if this is real. Someone bought it for someone as a present and it fell out a boat or anything. It's $50 note in here and it's a, like... I don't know what that is. Like a pony or something. Is there anything else in here? Why would there be... It doesn't make sense. Why would there be 50 bucks in there? <laughs> you know what? I didn't catch any fish tonight, but at least... Yeah. <laughs> that smells real. <laughs> Guys, with that $50 I found on the beach, I'm going to give a lucky person $50 this week. So, I'm going to pick someone out to draw. To, to be involved in that, you have to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Or, if you're already subscribed, I love you guys so much. So, type in, in the comment section, fishing, and I'll put all you guys into the draw. And I'll reveal the winner in my next YouTube video. Thank you so much for watching, guys. And just remember, any fish that you catch, send me a photo. Even videos, guys, I'm going to put a photo and a video up every single week. See you guys. Enjoy.